for each of the relations defined on the set A, which has elements 1, 2, 3, 4. In this tutorial, I'm going to decide if uh, the relations are reflexive, symmetric, or transitive. The relations that I'm going to look at are the first one, yes, or that pairs 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 3, 2, 3, 3, and 3, 4. And the second relation, yes, or that pairs 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, and uh, 4, 4. I'll start by looking at uh, the first relation there, and I'll check if it is uh, reflexive. By definition, a relation R on a set A is reflexive if for all A in the set A and the ordered pair AA is in the relation. So what we have to do is for all those elements uh, in A, we have to check if uh, the ordered pair AA is uh, in the relation that is given there. So I'll start by looking at the first element there, it's a 1. When you are looking at the element 1 in A, we'll be checking if 1, 1 is uh, in the relation. Now when you look at the highlighted relation there in question number one, we don't have a 1, 1 in that relation. So what we are having is that that 1, 1 is not in that relation. And if it is not in that relation, it has uh, violated that condition for it to be reflexive. Because if it's a relation defined on the set A, then the 1, 1 must be in that relation. In this case, we conclude that that given relation is uh, not reflexive. I now move on to checking if uh, the relation is uh, symmetric. By definition, a relation R on a set A is symmetric if for all A, B in the set A. If the ordered pair A, B is in the relation, and then the ordered pair B, A is in the relation. I'll start by looking at uh, the two for the, it's in the relation. And when you are checking for symmetry, we'll be looking at, um, at the ordered pair for two. Because we are looking at A, B, then B, A. So if we are looking at two, four, we should check if four, two is in. But in this case, for the highlighted relation there, we don't have a four, two in that relation. What we see there is uh, it has violated the condition for it to be symmetric. So what we are having there is that condition has not been satisfied. We therefore conclude that that relation there is uh, not symmetric. I now move on to checking if uh, the relation is uh, transitive. By definition, a relation on a set A is transitive if for all A, B, C in the set A, if uh, the ordered pair A, B is in the relation, and the ordered pair B, C is in the relation, then the ordered pair AC is uh, in the relation. What we are looking at, uh, we have those common terms there. This one, the last element on the first ordered pair and the first element on the second ordered pair, they should be the same. And then we check the AC. And we do that for all possible pairs that are of that form. So in this case, we see that we have a 2, 2, and a 2, 3. A 2, 2 and a 2, 3, and they have those common Bs there. And in this case, we are having that common element there is a 2. So for 2, 2 and 2, 3 in that relation, to check the AC, we'll be checking if 2, 3 is in. Both that will be our AC. So the 2, 3 we are seeing is there. So for this one, it's okay. We now move on to the next uh, pairs we have a 2 2 and a 2 4. A 2 2 and a 2 4 our AC there would be a 2 4 and we see that the 2 4 is in so for this one you are okay. I move on to the next one we are now having a 2 3 and a 3 2. 2 3 3 2 our AC will be a 2 2 and we see that a 2 2 is there so this one is okay. Now move on to the next one. We are having uh, a 2, 3 and a 3, 3. 2, 3, 3, 3. We are checking the AC. The AC in this case will be a 2, 3. We see the 2, 3 is there. For this one, you are okay. I move on to the next one. We are now looking at um, 
in the elements where we have a, a 3, 2, and a 2, 2. 3, 2, and 2, 2, our AC there will be a 3, 2, and we see that the 3, 2 is in that relation. I now move on to the next one. We have uh, a 3, 3, and a 3, 2. 3, 3, 3, 2, we are checking the AC, and the AC there is a 3, 2. We see that the 3, 2 is there in that relation. So for this one, we are okay. Now move on to the next pair. We have a 3, 3, and a 3, 4. 3, 3, and 3, 4, we are checking if uh, 3, 4 is in. Because that will be our AC. Our 3, 4 is in there. So for this one, we are okay. So what we conclude is uh, that relation is uh, transitive. Because we are having for all A, B, C in A. If A, B, and uh, B, C is in the relation, and then uh, a C is uh, in the relation. I can now go on to question number two. Now on question number two, I'll start by checking if it is a reflexive. A relation R on a set A is reflexive if for all A, the ordered pair A A is in the relation. So looking at the A is there in A, you start by the one. We see that uh, the one one is in that relation. Okay. And then we move on to the 2. We are having a 2 in A there. And when you are checking 2 in A, we'll be checking if 2, 2 is in the relation. And we see that the 2, 2 is there in that relation. Then you move on to the next one. We are now looking at uh, the third element of uh, the set A. We'll be checking if 3, 3 is in the relation. And what we see there is the 3, 3 is there. So for that one, we are okay. We now move on to the next one, the 4. For 4, we'll be checking if 4, 4 is in that relation. We see that the 4, 4 is there. So for that one, we are okay. And it's satisfying all the conditions for that relation to be reflexive. We therefore conclude that that relation there is uh, reflexive. Now moving on to the next question, checking if uh, the relation is uh, symmetric. It's symmetric if for all A, B in the set A. If A, B is in the relation, then the ordered pair B, A is in the relation R. Now when you are looking at uh, the first one, the 1, 1 there, 1, 1, when you are looking for the B, A, the B, A in this case will be a 1, 1. You see that the 1, 1 is okay. And then for the next one, a 1, 2. 1, 2 will be checking if 2, 1 is in the relation. We see that the 2, 1 is there. Then for the next one, a 2-2. Two, two. We'll be checking if 2-2 two, two is in. This one is okay. The 2-2 two, two is there. And then for the next one, we are looking at 3-3. Three, 3-3, three. Three, three, we are just checking 3-3. Three, three. So this one is okay. And then for the last one, 4-4. Four, four. We are checking if 4-4 four, four is in. The 4-4 four, four is there. We see that this uh, relation is satisfying all the conditions for it to be symmetric. We therefore conclude that that given relation there is uh, symmetric. I now move on to the next one, checking if the relation is uh, transitive. Is uh, transitive if for all A, B, C in the set A, if A, B is in the relation and B, C is in the relation R, and the ordered pair A, C is in the relation R. And uh, like before, we are looking at those common elements if we have uh, the second element there being equal to the first element there, then we would need to check if AC is uh, in. And therefore, we'll look at uh, elements that are of that form. So we have a 1, 1 and a 1, 2. And in this case, we'll be checking if 1, 2 is in. We see that the 1, 2 is okay. So for this one, we are okay. For the next one, we are checking 1, 2. And 2, 1, both they are of the form A, B, B, C. And then we check if A, C is in. And the A, C in this case will be a 1, 1. And it's there in the relation. So that one we are okay. And then we go on to the next one. We are looking at uh, 2, 2 and uh, 2, 1. For 2, 2 and 2, 1, we are checking if uh, 2, 1 is in. We see that the 2, 1 is there. So for this one, we are okay. 
and uh, those are the possible ones. So what you see there is that this relation is satisfying the condition for it to be transitive. Therefore, we conclude that that if a relation there is uh, transitive. So just a summary of what you have just done there. For the relation which is the order base 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 3, 2, 3, 3, and 3, 4, that relation is not reflexive, not symmetric, but it is transitive. But the relation there, which is ordered base 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, and 4, 4, that relation there is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. And in that case, uh, that relation is said to be an equivalence relation.